Next, we're going to cover polynomial division and the remainder theorem. The first problem I want to do is 2x cubed plus x squared minus 4 divided by x plus 2. So the first type of division we're going to do is polynomial long division. And for polynomial long division, you're going to write your numerator in standard form, highest degree term first, and then we're going to put a 0 for each coefficient for the missing terms. So I'm missing the x here, so I'm going to write a plus 0x when I write out my numerator. So I write out 2x cubed plus x squared plus 0x minus 4. Then I'm going to write my divisor out here. And for polynomial long division, I think it's easier than regular long division because I'm only concerned about one term. You do the same steps over, over and over again. Our first step is to divide. And what we're going to divide is the leading term divided by the leading term. So over here I have 2x cubed divided by x. 2x cubed divided by x is x squared. And it's 2x squared, sorry. So I'm going to write that over the x squared term so everything lines up. Second step is to multiply. I'm going to multiply this 2x squared times what I'm dividing by. 2x squared times 2 is 4x, is 4x squared. 2x squared times x is 2x cubed. So that's the second step. The third step is to subtract. So remember, when you're subtracting, you're subtracting each of the terms. So I always put parentheses around with a subtraction out here so I don't mess it up. 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0. x squared minus 4x squared is negative 3x squared. And then I'm going to bring down the other terms. And that is our last step. Bring down. And we're just going to repeat this process over and over again. Divide. Leading term divided by leading term. Negative 3x squared divided by x is negative 3x. Multiply. Negative 3x times 2 is negative 6x. Negative 3x times x is negative 3x squared. Subtract. Put parentheses around it and the subtraction sign. Any number minus itself is 0. 0 minus a minus 6x is 0 plus 6x. And then bring down the negative 4. Divide. Leading term divided by leading term. 6x over x is 6. Multiply. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times x is 6x. Subtract. Any number minus itself is 0. And negative 4 minus 12 is negative 16. I'm going to bring that negative 16 up here. And I am going to write it over my original divisor. So the answer to this division problem is 2x squared minus 3x plus 6 minus 16 over x plus 2. This negative 16 right here is called the remainder. And the second part we're going to discuss is the remainder theorem. But before we discuss that, we're going to redo this problem using what is called synthetic division. And we do synthetic division the same way we do synthetic substitution, but we've got to figure out which number we're going to be using for the synthetic substitution. So from the last video, I'm going to write these coefficients down in order. 2, 1, 0, and negative 4. When you are doing synthetic division, if you're dividing by x plus 2, what would be the 0 if I had x plus 2 as a factor? The 0 would be the, what does x equal? 
So if I have x plus 2 equals 0, x equals negative 2. And remember, synthetic substitution says, hey, when I substitute this number for x, what do I get for y? And that's what we're going to do. We want to substitute that number in for x. Synthetic division only works if you have a linear term that you are dividing by with the one for a coefficient. It only works if you have a linear term, so something to the first power plus a constant. So our process, bring down, multiply, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, add 1 minus 4 is negative 3, multiply, two, negative 2 times negative 3 is 6, add, multiply, add, notice, that I got the exact same number here. We called this the remainder, and in the last video, we called this when I evaluated it at x equals negative 2. So here's what the remainder theorem says. That if I evaluate f of x, whatever number I get is going to get the remainder of the division problem of f of x divided by the factor that I stuck in there. So I'm going to call this like f of a. f of a is going to be the remainder of this division problem. So this is my original problem right here. x minus a, and in this case my a was a negative 2, x minus a negative 2 would be x plus 2. So anytime that I s put a number in and evaluate it, whatever number comes out over here is the remainder to that division problem. Here's the second thing I want to point out to you. Look at all the work I had to do to do the long division problem. And again, to me, this is easier than regular long division. But I actually got the exact same answer. I have the remainder here. But notice these coefficients, 6, negative 3, and 2. 6, negative 3, and 2. What you can do is after you do the substitution problem, you can actually rewrite these things. So let's remember where we got this from. I took something that was cubed, divided it by something to the first power. So what's going to be left over is something to the second power. And then I write my powers of x in descending order. This, you get 2x cubed minus 3x plus 6 with a remainder of negative 16. So I get the exact same work. And we're going to see in the next video how synthetic substitution is actually going to help us find solutions to our polynomial expressions and equations and functions.